two weeks after Hurricane Irma and many streets in the Bay Area, well, they look like mm -hmm. this. Debris is lining nearly every curve. It's happening in my neighborhood right now, too. Mine too. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee explains why many of it hasn't been collected and what cities and counties are now doing about it. It's starting to look like part of the landscaping. It's not picked up. Debris from Hurricane Irma lining neighborhood streets in the Bay Area for miles and miles. I have a friend that found a poisonous snake on, in a pile of stuff, and it's just super dangerous. Jesenia Apprehentis lives in Tampa and worries about kids playing in it. James Vestal lives across the bay in St. Pete. Same story there. I just ended up cleaning it up myself. Um, we were fortunate not to have any large pieces of debris in our yard, but um, but you know some neighbors around here absolutely did. According to officials in St. Pete and Tampa, subcontractors hired to haul it out after the storm are now working in South Florida. Governor Rick Scott says his office is receiving complaints of price gouging and contractors not fulfilling their contracts. St. Pete says city workers are being shifted into debris removal positions for now, clearing 7,000 cubic yards of debris so far. The city says folks will start seeing those efforts vamping up this week. It's been two weeks and a lot of people need to get on with their lives and it can be a, a road hazard. So, you know, it's uh, needs to get done. Attorney General Pam Bondi is asking subcontractors from around the country to contact the Florida Department of Transportation if they're willing to offer debris removal at a reasonable price. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.